Hello everyone, uh, we're going to talk about uh, different layouts today, uh, linear and relative. So for landscape uh, variation of the application, we will be using relative layout. For portrait orientation, as you see right now, we will be using linear layout. So when you uh, run an application in portrait layout, the linear layout will be looks like this. When you run your application on in landscape variation, it will be using relative layout. So let's get started. Let's get started with new application. So we have a text to hello world that will be uh, changed to the question number. So what we will do, uh, actually we want these uh, elements to be positioned in the middle of the screen. Um, I want to make it bigger first before moving. So the text appearance would help me with this. For example, make it default large. And uh, you don't need to be worried so much about size properties. This one will be... Question one. The next, um, so I want this picture to be displayed in the matter of the question I'm asking. So I will uh, paste this picture and then I drag and drop uh, image view widgets. So I'm just trying to be just kind of straightforward with this. So what, what is what I have right now? Because it's a it's a relative layout. So let's uh, make it a little bit different. Let's uh, change relative layout to linear. And in this case, uh, we have to specify also the layout orientation. Because we want uh, elements aligned uh, vertically one after another one, um, it will be much easier for us to um, to do the design. But uh, since we had some kind of previous alignment from the relative layout, we can easily delete this. So we have right now linear layout with vertical orientation. Let's change properties for the question one. So we will want uh, question one to be uh, with that property Android layout gravity to the center. So once we make it uh, to the center, the question will be centered. And we'll probably make the same property for the image view. So we'll add here Android layout gravity center horizontal. The next will be question uh, text itself. So you're going back to the text view and drag and drop a text view with the question. And the question will be here. Uh, we want to create a string resource for the question. So we go to the values, we will double the strings and we create a question here as string name Here will be let us when Google has acquired Android. Let's make this question in, in our text view. So then question could be selected from the menu. And of course we have to center this great question again. So we'll put Android layout gravity center horizontal we still have this kind of like not proper alignment so how to fix it so one of the ways to pay attention to the layout width and height and you see that um, width and height for the first text view is wrap content in both cases but the width and height for the second view have a match parent for the width 
So that should be changed to the web content because we don't want to take the whole uh, width of the window for this for this text. And we will be checking back, and it it looks like it's nice. One of the things we don't really like to have this message so close to the picture. Um, and the same here, right? So you have to use a margin between in linear layout. So let's apply margin here. Layout margin top. Because you want to the top area. And I would choose Android, instead of writing the number, I will choose the default value for activity vertical margin. And let's see what happened. You see that we had right now automatically done. Let's do the same for uh, for the image. Android layout margin top and use the same dimensional for vertical margin. So we have a centered elements and a little bit better layout. Finally, you need uh, four buttons here to answer the question. Uh, try to drag and drop this button right away. And you see that button is taking the whole space, right? So we will make this button for the width uh, web content. And we will just bring another couple of buttons. And you see, like, right now, going to be a problem. Uh, you know, why? Because we're not really uh, able to arrange button in in one line because the whole orientation of the layout is vertical, but we want button to be horizontal. So even we're moving like this, we would never get results, appropriate result. So what to do in this case? So the best way is here to create a linear layout at the bottom area and arrange button in one horizontal way. So let's go back and uh, open here linear layout, linear layout, and move these two buttons inside layout that we just declared. And before moving, we uh, want to set up. Uh, we want to set up orientation for the layout. Make sure that it is inside. And the orientation will be this time horizontal. So let's go back, and this is actually what we need right now, right? So we want button to be display in one horizontal line. Button three, and again, it's a little bit tricky, right? Because uh, the button should belong to the to the layout. The layout. Actually, we can copy maybe and paste the same button as well, like we did before for the uh, previous editors. But uh, you see that might be very unexpected position for that button. That's why you have to be very careful with this. Alright, so we have uh, these four buttons. Uh, so the buttons will be supplied with answers. The answers will be given as a strings. So let's create four strings. String with name, for example, answer one. Um, have message 2003 and I copy this line three more times two three and four It's a good idea to have strings externally declared so you can easily change them in your project when you want. 
So now we select button 1 and we will uh, wait for the text from this list. Then you select button 2. We have a button text 2. Uh, the next button will be A3. And the last button is uh, the text 2006. And the last things we have to uh, make margin for the linear layout with uh, horizontal orientation. So what we're doing right now, we uh, come to the internal linear layout with four buttons and adding margin here. So let's the margin Android margin top. That's right now much better. Looks much better. Um, yeah, that looks like a good job. We did a good job. Maybe we can play a little bit with this uh, text appearance. If you don't like that question, loud here. It looks like we can play with this text a little bit. So I, don't, I guess it's uh, it's a good good visibility right now to have this. All right, so let's let's run the project right now. It looks like this message is not uh, properly aligned centered, but it does. That just simply uh, the problem is the length of the sentences is more than the width of this uh, fake emulator. So maybe that's that's why we have this message is not really centered. So what I can do, I can make it a little bit smaller. Um, so instead of uh, I don't know how many how much we have here for this line, oh, we don't have it. Yeah, and we, we we erase text appearance and we add here text size. And let's see what's happened in this case. So we will add here Android um, layout gravity center horizontal and run again. In this case, we have a better, better situation. Once we rotate, we have a problem. So, because we're rotating phone, we have uh, everything get lost. Um, for that purpose, we can create landscape variation. Landscape variation will be created immediately, and for landscape variation, you see that uh, a lot of elements should be uh, repositioned, right? So. Uh, the best idea probably go here and change. So I'm just staying here in land variation, um, the linear layout. So once we switch to the uh, relative layout, we receive this not very good picture, but this is the way how to fix it right now, right? So we have to see how the elements are arranged inside, and then maybe you need to think about uh, how to, uh, first of all, you have to delete all kind of previous alignment, uh, layout gravity, layout margin top, and um, Maybe it will be easier for you to understand uh, how we arrange elements. And this is because of this uh, layout is relative. We have much more flexibility with uh, with moving elements together, and we have a linear layout. Um, it would be nice to have uh, all buttons together to move somewhere. That's what I 
I'm just trying to do. And uh, finally we need to move the question. Alright, so this is the design we have right now, so we will rotate. And we have pretty much good design, right? So let's talk about in the second video how to process button click with this application. Thanks a lot.